All right, guys, so you probably just watched the video uh, that I made of the splash screen. And so that's what we want to work through today is how to actually go through and make that splash screen. Um, and you're going to make kind of a welcome screen for your superhero. And so instead of uh, saying JStream on yours, yours is going to say your superhero's name. Okay, so let's get into how to do that. So we've got our After Effects open. Uh, we want to come up to composition and just create a new composition. Let's go ahead and give it a name, and you can give it a name of splash screen or whatever the case may be. And we want to have our duration be five seconds long. So this is five seconds. This is your how many frames. So keep that at zero. And then we'll have the background color be black. And then go ahead and hit OK. And we'll get our splash, our composition here for our splash screen. Okay, so as we go through, um, w the first thing that we want to make is that kind of dash circle that went around the, that kind of went around uh, the circle at first there. So, first thing that we're going to do then is we're going to come up to our shape tool and we're going to click on ellipse tool. As we start to draw, we can draw and hit the shift key and that's going to make it into a perfect circle. So I can draw that in there and drop that. And once I do that, I wanna go ahead and I wanna name this right away before I do anything else to it so I know what it is that I'm doing. So down here, our first one says shape layer one. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. I'm gonna hit return and I'm gonna name it dashed circle. Obviously, it's not a dash circle yet, but it will be, and so we want to uh, make sure to name it so we know which one we're dealing with. I want to click on my selection tool, and then over here in my align tab, I want to go ahead and just align it first of all. Actually, before I do that, let's do something else first. Let's make sure we're all working with the same size circle. So go ahead and hit the down arrow next to your dash circle, and let's hit the down arrow next to ellipse one. Let's hit the down arrow next to ellipse path and you'll see then it says size. So let me quickly zoom in on that. So here's what I did. I hit the down arrow next to dash circle, down arrow next to contents, down arrow next to ellipse one, down arrow next to ellipse path, and then you see size. So we're going to go ahead and change this. So right now it was at 445.6. I want to make this both be 600. So let's go ahead and put 600 in for both of those. And when I put 600 in for both of those, that just kind of changes it to make it a little bit bigger, and that should be good. So. Clicking on that, selecting it, I want to go ahead and align it. So I'm going to move it so that I align it with the horizontal center and also with the vertical center. Okay. Now, when I did this, I this is the second time that I've done this video, so some of my pieces have already kind of stayed in place here. But if yours does not have this inside layer with the uh, outside already filled in. Let's go ahead and look at how we did that then. So if you click on the name fill, so not on the fill color, but actually on the name fill, it will give you your fill options. And so what we want to do is we want to use the, the none, the transparent fill option. So that's this white box with the red line through it. And so we want to click on that. That gives us the inside being, um, you know, with no color on the inside and allowing us to see through it. Then I changed the color of my stroke and I made it this green color. So if you want to use the hashtag that's or the hex code number, it's 00FF31, or you could set your red levels to zero green to 255, blue to 49. So you can do it that way too. So you can do that or pick your own color. And then I set my pixels for the stroke width to 5. And 
and that gives me this nice circle here. Okay. All right. Now the next thing that I want to do, I'm going to close my uh, ellipse path, and I'm going to come underneath stroke one this time. Right. So when I hit the down arrow next to stroke one, that gives me some options for what I want the stroke to do. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus sign next to dashes. When I do that, it's going to add in a number of dashes and it's going to make the circle be dashed instead of um, just a complete full circle. So let's uh, change our dashes to 22. And when we click off it, we can see that that's a pretty good amount of dashes, and that's going to give us a nice size. So that doesn't mean that there's 22 dashes, because there's a lot more. It means our dashes are about 22. That's the length of them, 22. I don't know what the units are, but 22, okay? And it fills it in pretty well and makes it so it has this nice, like, circle there. All right, the next thing though that we need to do is we need to, we want to actually have this move. Now, underneath my contents, there's this button that says add. And so I want to click on that and I want to click on trim paths. And when I do that, you'll see it adds this new option down here. And so I want to start. So I want it to add, <clears throat> I want to add a keyframe because what I want this to do is I want this to kind of come in and go around the path. So to do that, I need to take my end percentage and I'm going to put that at zero. And you see it basically it looked like it made all my dashes go away. And I'm going to hit the stopwatch so that it adds a keyframe there. So basically what this is saying at this point, the end is the end percentage is going to be at zero. And then I'm going to move um, about maybe 20 frames. And you can tell that that's 20 frames over here. This last number is how many frames it is. And at that point, then I want to move this percentage back up to 100. And it adds another keyframe there then as well. And so what's going to happen then is as I hit play, it's going to basically just kind of go around the circle. And I can hit play either by hitting over here on the preview, hitting play, or I can do that by hitting my space bar and it will go through. Okay. All right. So that's a good first start, good uh, dash circle there. Um, I'm going to break this up into a few videos. So that'll be a good first uh, video. To, to get started and to do that first splash to make the splash screen that's dash circle around there okay all right so once you finish that let's check out the next video